Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. We've got the next wine here for the, uh, I'm calling it the Bordeaux series, but really it's the France, whole the France series. But this, we think Bordeaux, this is in the Bordeaux region of France. Um, this particular wine here that I have, um, again I bought at the uh, wine shop in, ooh, I may have bought this one in Paris. Nope. Yeah, I bought this one in Paris, not the other, not the other place. Uh, this is the um, 2007 Chateau Tour Prignac uh, Grand Reserve. Now, this particular um, wine is from uh, the appellation is the Medoc, which um, the Medoc is actually anything. The 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 whole Medoc is anything north of Bordeaux. Uh, now you have two areas of Medoc. One's called the Medoc, which is actually the most northern part of it. And then you have the Hot Madoc, which is the um, uh, the southern part of uh, the Bordeaux. I'm sorry, the Madoc region. Um, now, all the little smaller appellations are considered part of the Madoc, but basically, if they're grown in like Poyac or Saint Julian or Saint Steve, they're going to have that designation, not just Madoc. Now, this is actually in the most northern reaches, almost the most northern reaches of the Madoc. Um, there's a uh, a town, the main town or city up there is um, <clears throat> Le Spare, and that's, you know, almost, I don't know, I don't know how many miles or kilometers away from the exit of the, uh, uh, of the estuary, but um, it's pretty far north. It's farther north, farther, you know, there's a New Yorker in me, uh, or the Jersey guy. Um, it's farther north than I was staying in Poyac, and um, this is uh, part of a larger group of uh, wineries owned by uh, the Castell uh, family. They bought this estate um, in 1973. Uh, it was established in 35, according to their website, but it said it lay dormant from 35 until 1973 when they bought it. Um, I can't get an exact um, uh, ratio of, um, of the grapes. But according to the 2009, this is 2007, oh, this was 12 euros and 55 cents, uh, which equates to $17.29 in today's money. Um, the, uh, according to one of the tasting notes for the 2009 vintage, it's 70% Cabernet Sauvignon and 30% Merlot. Um, and, I mean, if you go to the website, it does say that they're Cabernet Sauvignon based wine, which is, falls in line with most left bank uh, Bordeaux's. So, um, you got that. Let's see what else. I think I gave you all the information that, that I got on it. Um, the, uh, the Castell family owns 18, or if I remember right, they own 18 properties in Bordeaux, Provence, Languedoc, and the Loire, and the Loire Valley. So they're, they're kind of a all, you know, all over in France, not just Bordeaux. <clears throat> all right, so let's check it out. Um, color wise, it's pretty, it's pretty deep color. Um, we said that the lighting isn't the best here, but we'll say it's um, a dark red. Um, I already know that it's a 13% alcohol wine because I wrote all the information down. And it's not very viscous at all. I mean, it drops really quickly. All right. I'll just side note that this wine's probably been open for about a long time. Let's put it that way. Over these wines a long time ago. So. Plenty of time for them to breathe. Okay, so um, initially I'd gotten off the nose uh, a more a more fruit driven um, bouquet. Uh, I was thinking kind of you know strawberries type of thing. That's strawberries, you know, strawberries, raspberries, cherries. You know, red fruits, uh, kind of darker red fruits. 
and now it's a more mineral has more minerality to it. Um, you're getting kind of that not a, not a really deep barnyard, but you're you're getting kind of earthiness to it. You know, maybe maybe a hint of uh, the manure type of of um, aroma. And I, I kind of get maybe a little bit of chocolate out of it too, so um, a little bit of sweetness on on the nose. And the darker fruits. All right, let's see how it tastes. This one, yep. This is a little side note. Um, it's called a Cru Bourgeois. Um, it's um, <clears throat> outside of the 1855 classification. Then you had you have a um, you have another Bordeaux. Um, you have another Bordeaux classification, and the Bourgeois classification Cru is the the bottom of the next level. Um, and it, it changes a little more frequently than the 1855 classification. Just a little bit of extra history on that. Well, definitely a um, mineral minerality type of wine. This is not going to be confused for a new world wine. Definitely old world. Um, it's kind of a repeat of, of the bouquet. So you're getting the earthiness, not, not necessarily like, you know, barnyard manure type stuff. You're getting but earthiness out of it. Um, I guess maybe I hate mushrooms. I despise them. But I guess I'm getting a bit of that mushroomy type of fungus type of uh, uh, flavoring to it. Um, maybe a hint of chocolate. And uh, the darker red fruits. I can't be really more specific with the red fruits. Tannins are really light. Um, I'm not going to say non-existent, but very light tannically. Medium-bodied wine. It's uh, and the acid's about moderate, but it feels like it's it's not focused on that part. Probably the only thing that I would say that the wine really lacks as far as, I guess, a structural thing, but it's, it's pretty light wine. It's only 13% alcohol, so we're, again, we're not talking about those massive, you know, alcoholic fruit bombs from New World wines. It's tasty, definitely better than some of the wines I've had recently, definitely better than the other supermarket wines. Um, it's a, you know, an $18 bottle, $17 bottle of wine, so it's a... But in Euro standards, it's, you know, 12 euros, 13 euros. So, you know, I guess not too expensive. It's pretty decent. I like it. I like it a, a, quite a bit. Um, very pleased with it. Um, and since I have waited about two, almost two months, uh, and well, about a month and a half in drinking it, uh, any type of bottle shock that could have happened, it should be gone by now. AC1, as far as a score, 87, so I would give it uh, pretty decent. If you uh, are in France or you're going to Nicholas and uh, you want you know pretty decent red wine to kind of go with your, with your dinner tonight, um, something that's, you know, should pair well with any food, you know, any, any of the typical red wine foods uh, or cheeses, this would be really good for that, so I would totally recommend that. 87, I think it's a pretty solid effort. Um... Yeah, buy it if you can find it. That's going to be it on the wine. Um, again, I'm sure you can see the shirt. Uh, stop by Ceci, um, Ceci Barreto's wine blog, uh, Venice Speaking. There will be the link below and on the website. So if you can't remember how to spell Venice Speaking, uh, speaking and um, you're going to go to uh, want to check out her blog, go to my website, 
because that's the easy one to remember. Um, go to my website, go to this one and click the link. Send it to there. Um, we've got, um, or she has, not we, I'm joining her, pardon me, on the 17th of November for the um, uh, Beaujolais Nouveau uh, party or uh, tasting that she's having here in San Antonio. So if you're local, stop by, go to her website to find the link to pay for the, pay for the ticket for that. Um, that shouldn't happen yet because I uh, got to make sure, I think all these wines, almost all these wines will be done before that day. Um, so we've got that. Uh, I'll be doing my own little uh, Beaujolais Nouveau thing that day, earlier in the day, in the afternoon. Uh, with the wine twits, I'll uh, be doing Skyping, you streaming, you name it. If you want to, if you want to chat with me, we're going to do it. <clears throat> I'll be on Twitter, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, friend me up up top on that for Facebook, Twitter, anything. Uh, I don't even have my, I don't find my you stream account up there, but if not, it's thirteen thirty seven wine, like everything. Um, Thanksgiving coming up, we'll do that. Two uh, hundredth episodes coming up. Still haven't figured out exactly what I'm doing. Uh, not sure if I'll be doing the live tasting. But um, hopefully I'll have something figured out soon because this is this is episode 191. I've got nine episodes left to figure out what I'm doing for 200. Um, and uh, stop by the website. Not, don't click the links. Stop by the website. Click the links up top to friend me up. Um, click the links below to go to any chateaus that there might be uh, or any extra information. And the donation side on the side. You want to donate? Cool. Uh, if you want to be the 13th. 1337 donator would be awesome. Um, and that's going to do it. Uh, we'll see everybody again next time.